The ZL1, probably the most powerful production engine ever produced, for sure by Chevrolet. The roots of this awesome performing engine is that back in the Chaparral in 65 when they started building aluminum motors to go racing. They realized that they didn't have enough power to beat Penske's awesome cars. So what they developed was basically this, the 427 all aluminum ZL1. Fred Gibb, who owned a dealership, talked GM into building the ZL1 and putting it into a Camaro. They were slated only to go into Corvettes at that time. So in late 68, actually December 31st, Fred Gibb took delivery of his first two cars. In the meantime, total production of the ZL1s came to 69. This car here is the only red red ZL1 ever produced. Let me show you what's so special about one of these cars. Obviously the motor, the ZL1 motor package came with this, an 850 Holley double pumper, aluminum intake, basically a set of L88 heads which are open chamber heads, an aluminum block with steel sleeves, four bolt mains obviously. Also it either came with a Muncie transmission or the Turbo 400, both with aluminum cases. Fairly lightweight package with big horsepower. Now they're only rated at 430 but they're well over 500 horsepower. Now this whole package was actually ordered as a Copo 9560 package and in order to get the ZL1 you had to order that entire package which included the ZL2 hood which had to fit over top of the, the uh, air cleaner here. You also got the F41 suspension package which was heavy duty suspension, posi track 410 and a special heat treated ring gear and you got the K66 transistor ignition. You also got was a four core rad for cooling. That entire package ended up being the Copo package and that was the only way that you could get one of these ZL1s. Enough talking about this, let's see how it really performs. Again, a very nice tight driving car. The restoration was thoroughly done on this car. The F41 suspension, which was standard on all ZL1s, gives this thing a little bit rougher ride than a standard Camaro. The weight on the front end of this car, because it is a little bit less, actually gives it a little better handling than a standard Camaro. Fred Gibb definitely has the right idea of sticking a ZL1 in a 69 Camaro. It made an awesome race car, but it made a better street car. Well, there isn't much to say about driving a ZL1 Camaro other than it goes like steak. Obviously a really cool car to drive. It's not often anybody has an opportunity to drive a car like this. The restoration on this car, like most of the cars we feature, beautifully restored. But what's more important about a ZL1 is the history of the car. They're very documented cars. This car is number 62 of the 69. It's the only triple red one ever built. Has an interesting history from brand new. A fellow named Johnny Tripp owned this car. Used to drag race the car to make his monthly payments. His luck ran out six months later when the car was stolen and the insurance company refused to put a new ZL1 motor in. When they recovered the car, that's what they actually wanted was the motor. They did pay off the loan, but shortly after that, Johnny Tripp sold the car. It obviously got sold a few more times, got completely restored and is in the condition it is today. These cars are all about history and that's what makes these cars so, so valuable. This car here is fast approaching the quarter million dollar mark in value. And if you think that's nuts, just watch, I think these things have a lot of room left in them.